I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins with a look at your most accurate forecast and some big changes rolling in. The storm we've been talking about for over a week now about to get here. Winds have already picked up, rain and snow moving in tonight into tomorrow, and temperatures dropping nearly 20 degrees as this rolls through. So as we look at our valley forecast here, a slight chance for spotty rain showers tonight, better chances we had into tomorrow, but it's still not looking like a lot of rain for us, up to a tenth of an inch possible in the Phoenix metro area, higher amount in the higher terrain to our north and east. And although it's starting out as rain for the high country, the cold air will eventually drop that snow level tomorrow down to 4,500 feet. And we're expecting about four to six inches of snow for areas above 5,500 feet in elevation. Winds have been strongest today. Tomorrow they'll back off a little bit. We won't see gusts quite as high as those 45 mile per hour gusts we were tracking this afternoon for the high country, but it's still going to be very gusty. And in the valley, we're still expecting wind gust here 25 to 30 miles per hour even tomorrow. So here's Here's a look at where things stand in terms of the latest models coming in and kind of the timing on all of this rain. Looks like it could be spotty stuff through the overnight hours. That snow level gradually dropping as we head into tomorrow morning, and then we'll continue to see snow showers throughout the day along the rim, up along the Kaibab Plateau, even over the Hualapai Mountains to the south of Kingman, and spotty rain showers working their way through the Phoenix metro area at times tomorrow as well. All of this clears out by Friday morning. Our sunshine returns, and temperatures will gradually rebound through the weekend. But winter weather advisories kicking in along the rim and for portions of northeastern Arizona as we head into tonight and tomorrow, indicating that all of the snow is going to make those roads pretty icy and travel pretty treacherous as we head into tonight and tomorrow up there. So use caution. We've got Flagstaff in the four to six inch range, one to two inches of snow for Payson and Heber, about one to two for Sholo as well, and three to five near the White Mountains. Pine Top Lakeside will probably end up a little bit higher than Sholo too. As we look at our valley forecast, 50s in the morning, 60s in the afternoon. These temperatures, some of the coolest we've seen since February and breezes in the afternoon hours too. Overnight lows dropping into the 20s up near Flagstaff, 30s but still above freezing tonight for Prescott and Payson. Tomorrow those spots will end up in the 40s and our lower deserts in the 60s as this big blast of cold air moves in. We'll hit the 60s again on Friday, rebounding to the 70s over the weekend and then rain chances and even more wind back in play with another storm early next week.